Hello, everybody. Hello, Amir. How are you today? Hi, Dan. I'm doing well, thanks. My question for you, Amir, is uh, if you could just talk a little bit about your thought process in accepting and going after this fight uh, instead of the fight that had been discussed for you prior to this fight coming about, which was a fight with uh, your British rival, Kel Brook, that a lot of people, at least in your country, were very interested to see, and not taking that offer and instead coming to the States to fight against Terence Crawford in a, you know, in a, in a similarly significant fight. Yeah, so basically, I love fighting in the States. Um, I've had some big performances here, and I wanted to be back over here again and to put another big fight on. Um, New York is one of my favorite locations in America. So when this fight was put to me, and it was going to be a big fight, it was going to be a pay-per-view fight, I decided to, you know, take this fight with both hands and make sure that I can... I can take, I, I can, I, and I make sure that if I'm going to take this fight, I'm going to win this fight as well. Um, so that's the reason um, I, 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 I decided to take this fight. I mean, I spoke to my team, and my team might have been a little bit, um, they didn't agree with me as much, but I was like, um, look, this is the fight I want because Terrence looking, breaking down the fight. You know, Terrence is a very skillful fighter. I always do well against skillful fighters. You know, um, this is going to be like a game of chess at times. His legs come forward, he does punch well, and he does like fight as well. So then, he's got the best of both worlds, and not only that, he's the same weight as me. I mean, he's going to be, come. I mean, I'm, I thought I went a weight more, so I'm probably physically the bigger guy in this fight. I'm physically um, the guy who's been in the 147 division longer as well. So I've got that advantage on my side, whereas normally, I'm the smaller guy fighting these bigger guys. You know, so um, I think that's definitely going to be on my side. People Amir, do you, might do you, feel, yeah. Go ahead. Sorry people about that. Might, I thought you were done. People might feel um yeah, sorry, sir. People might feel that, you know, for my last performance against um um Vargas, I'm gonna be the same. But I mean I know that was a very bad performance. I mean it was just um, not me, you know. You know, I know I had to just go in there and win a fight. I mean, it's hard to motivate yourself against guys where you're supposed to win. Because you're supposed to all you have to do is turn up then, you know, you're gonna win the fight. Because you're, you know you you got the better skill set and everything else. But in this fight, this is what I have to do in my A game. I have to make sure that I can't make any mistakes. And I have to go into this as an underdog, but prove myself and win this fight. Amir, was any part of your thought process in taking this particular fight? And, and I'm saying this based on my understanding that financially it's about the same uh, for both fights. You would have made a lot of money for either fight. So was part of your thought process, you know, I can fight Crawford, have an opportunity to fight on a big American pay-per-view to win the welterweight title. Uh, against a top opponent in a you know a, a place I know you like fighting New York City, and whatever happens, if you win, if you lose, whatever goes down, if it's a draw, that Kell Brook is still going to be a fight that's in your back pocket that a lot of people are still going to want to see, regardless of the outcome of April twentieth. Well, I don't know. I don't know if that fight's still going to be there. I mean, I chose this fight over that fight, and I know that I've seen in uh, numerous times in the media Eddie saying that the fight's literally dead now. It's not going to happen again. I mean, look, who knows? Time will tell. I mean, I'm taking this fight step by time, fight by fight, and let's get this fight out of the way first, and then we take it from there. I mean, look, that fight might never happen. It might happen. So I'm just taking every fight by as it comes, really.